Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fatal Frame 1. Today is going to be the spiciest part of the game. This is the chapter where we get a lot of combat and it's, it can get pretty tough, especially on a hard mode or fatal mode above that. We're just on normal, shouldn't be anything too crazy, but a lot of fighting is going to happen today. We learned in the last chapter that we are being pulled into the past. The house is pulling us closer and closer to event zero. <laughs> it's a step zero where everything went down. We are way past the part with Jinsei Takamine, that was chapter one. We went further into the past with Yae and Mikoto. Uh, and we opened a hell gate, or so we've been told. Kirie showed up and um, pushed us further into the tunnel that was past the doors. So we're gonna load into straight into chapter three and see what happened. Let's go. Calamity is over. Or is this chapter calamity? I think so actually. Yeah, chapter two is demon tag. And then three is calamity. Yep. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, we're back outside. Muffle you. This place. I'm pretty sure Mafuyu went through that door. Well, let's go after him then. So, we found, um... God, what's his name? I always forget his name because it's a little bit complicated. This guy. Munakata. We found his body with a piece of the mirror. Oh, she's looking at something. That's weird, so... Uh, let me see. I've my good film equipped. I think we can switch back for a little bit. Let's do that. Just in case there's like more just regular- oh, never mind, never mind, never mind! Oh, run! There's something. Oh! Ooh, two. Two for the price one. Three! Okay, I got one. Good. That was the closest one. Nice. That's another one done. Number three. Whew. They're just like souls that got trapped here. That need help. Ooh, meds, thanks. Spirit stone. Oh, a dead end. Must have caved in. Well, time to get your mining gear out. <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Some people were um, asking for subtitles, but I'm sorry, the game is so old. There's just no subtitles. There's no setting. <laughs> the year is 1837. Ah, 18. 37 on the 13th day of the 12th month we've had that one before the strangling ritual failed and caused the calamity malice escaped and 1347 souls were lost that's a lot of dead people 
Got the numbers. So that's the that's the event. That's when everything went wrong. A ritual failed. And a bunch of people died. But it's a, the cave is a dead end, so we'll have to find some other way to get down there. And here's that other mysterious little girl who, according to the picture, was called Kirie. Where the girl pointed, there's a book. Moon Shrine. The small shrine in the atrium of the Himuro mansion is called the Moon Shrine. It enshrines the maidens who were sacrificed in rituals. Inside the Moon Shrine is an empty well called the Moon Well. The moonlight shines down to the bottom on the night of the ritual. The rope shrine maiden is supposed to purify her body with moonlight at the bottom of the well. The bottom of the well is connected to the basement, and only the maiden uses this path to reach the basement. According to the legend, the first rope maiden was buried in the moonshine. However, no body or documents were found inside. I wonder where the first rope maiden has been enshrined. Uh huh. Oh, oh, it's you. I got you. You gonna come flying at me? I won't let you. Ooh, almost had her. There you go. So pesky. Let's go away. Okay. Let's get out of here. We have work to do. We need a, we have a well to find. Oh, that sound. Such heavy doors. How strong is Miku? <laughs> she can open those doors. That's such a cute detail. She has to like stop because it's like rumbling. She's like, ooh. Let's get out of this hell hole, literally. <laughs> literally a hole. <laughs> You got this, Miku. Okay. <laughs> Fine. I found out uh, a long time ago that it kind of helps to just let go of the joystick in this case and just hold the run button and then she goes in a straight line. Face in there, see that? Ah! Oh, I didn't get him. Ah! Oh shit! Oh, he didn't even hurt me. Oh, wrong button. Shit. Oh. So unfortunately, because we don't have the ghost list, um, we don't really have more information on these ghosts. I don't have a ghost list, right? No. Um, but I can tell you, obviously. <laughs> so, like, have you noticed how the ghosts look different? Like, some have a lot of detail to them, and then some are, like, missing legs, and then some are, like... I feel like they're kind of, like, stretched out, or they're missing parts. Um, then there's, and then there's like that dude who are just like a cloud, basically. Um, so the thing, the idea with that is, according to the ghost list, is that they've been, those souls have been around for so long that they've just lost their shape. Like the longer you're a ghost in this world, the more you'll, you'll lose your form. 
So that means that that cloud dude that we just fought is like the oldest ghost in this game, basically. He's been here for a long time. Forget where it is. I thought it was there, but... Where is it? I just took the picture, didn't I? Oh, there we go. Oh, and she just speared. Crushed woman. Okay, cool. We're allowed to go. So, oh. Oh, there he is. I'm wearing a sweater so I can't show you my tattoo, but he's on my shoulder. <laughs> See where he went, huh? Somewhere this way. Oh, nothing there. This way? Ooh! Scary lightning! Uh huh. Something is going on over here. What is it? Ah, yes. We've been there. It was uh, where we got the mask from Munakata. Any items here? No? Just checking. Okay, this door might be open over here. Oh god! Hi. Ugh. Don't look at me like that. Scram. This door. It does open! <gasps> Yay! Ta-da! Oh. The monks. Chanting. Ceremony or rope. Four of them. An old scroll at the top of the staircase. Document on binding. Show the maiden no mercy. Cast the rope on her limbs from right arm, then the other. From the right foot, then the other. So, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Okay. Is this right arm? There we go. I've always loved that sound. Boom. Excuse me, sir. Is it your left arm? Yes. <laughs> now where is that right foot? Coming for those beans. Yes. Last one. Oh, last one. Uh. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen, I swear. <laughs> Everything's peachy. I'm just, um, no big deal. Ah, <laughs> oh, so close. Need like one picture. One good picture. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go see. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. 
Teal carving. Stone with a strange character carved into it. Oh, yes! There he is. The head priest. Oh god. Oh god, he's already here. Oh god. Oh, oh, slow, slow. I gotta slow him. It's gonna hurt. Yep. Okay. Did I get him? I'm not sure. Yeah, I got him. Okay. Oh, go run, 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 run! Ah. Shit! 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 Ugh. Okay, take one of these. No, no. Can't see him! Can't see him! Oh, I got him! I got stuck. Oh, we almost got him. Oof. Okay, this is a dangerous motherfucker. God, he was... Obnoxious on fatal mode. I remember. <laughs> okay, we did it. Uh, let's go to this one. Um, she's looking at the door. We got the little stone. So I think we just gotta go back. For now. We'll be back here, I'm sure. Keep having Bo Burnham's song, one of his songs in my head. My, keep, my head keeps going like, he's problematic. He's a problem. Thinking of the ghosts, they're problematic. <laughs> they're a problem. Let's see if this works. Is it for this door? Yes. Okay. Oh shit. That bottom one. Okay. Uh, I got really stuck for some reason. There we go. Now this is a tiny little area, as you can see. Tiny little room with a box in the middle. Or a little cabinet. With a Munakata book in there. Mystery of the cabinet and the moon well. The moon well inside the moonshrine is hidden with a trick mechanism. The cabinet moves and opens up the entrance to the moon well when a certain routine has been performed, but I have no idea how this is done. There is only a vague description on the trick device. Acquire the symbols from the four rope pullers and show the Himuro family master seal. Must mean that the opening that opening the door requires the symbols carried by the four priests part participating in the ceremony and the Himuro family master's seal. However, now that the family has ceased to exist, there is no way of knowing how to acquire either, a, either the symbols or the seal. 
Unless you have a ghost camera. Mm hmm, that's one. Trying to think where they are. Yeah, I know. I know where the the graves are. These are the graves of the rope pullers. Number three. So cool. The fact that you get like a a hint. In a way, this is like some hidden object stuff. Like you gotta. You get like uh, the shape of something and then it's like, yeah, now go find it. <laughs> okay, so we have four graves we need to visit. Um, and we gotta kick some ass. Oh. Here's one. I felt bad for her. You can only photograph them when they have a head. Ah. That was close, dude. Nice. Oh, that went well. 150 damage with that one shot. Nice. Where's my head? I don't know. Ask ask the head priest. <laughs> They're so hard to understand sometimes. <sighs> Kirie has been acting strangely ever since she met the young guest. I do not suppose she is attracted to him. If she becomes too deeply involved with this world because of him, she may lose her potential as a proper shrine maiden. We will have to do something, and quickly. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just made me think, oh yay, poor soul. Someone someone left a comment that's like, why aren't you recording this in 60 FPS? And it's like, bro, this game isn't even widescreen. <laughs> Do you think it has the 60 FPS? <laughs> oh, was there someone here too? Oh yeah. There we go. Hirasaka. I love the little lights in the water. So cool. You'll only suffer. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, what? A a put a put put. You can do it, Miku. Strong tough girl. You got this. You don't need no priest. Okay. Heal again. And go. Oh, he just turned around. Dude, I can't keep up. You gotta, you gotta give me space. Oh shit. Ah! Dude. I'm stuck. 
I'm stuck. I don't know what I'm stuck on. Dude, you're like in me. <laughs> what the fuck? I got you. So that you could surprise me. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I completely forgot to explain as well. So we get a we get a symbol when they die, and that symbol corresponds with a button in the moon shrine that we were just in. Not even an item. Mm. Um, so yeah, each we need to find the four priests and fight them to get their corresponding symbols, and then we can put those. I think I think the game wants you to like do one, fight a priest, get the symbol, put the symbol in, then go to the next one, etc. But I always just go to all the priests and then put all the buttons in at the same time. Speed is of the essence here. The longer we take, the more random ghosts show up. The more you have to fight, the more you have to waste film. <laughs> oh god. Not the him, not the monk. Oh. oh, it's two of them, isn't it? Yeah! Oh god. Oh, it's two? Fuck that, I'm out of here. This is way too hard. No, 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 no. Get out of my way, get out of my way! I need to leave this room. No one wants to fight the priest guy. Or monk. The monk is the worst one. Oh god. Shit. Okay. No, God. Can you not? Can you fuck off? Get away! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is gonna suck! I can't believe. What? Beepy -bee came in. This is like the worst possible combination of ghosts in this one room. I don't think I've ever been that unlucky. Okay, how am I gonna get myself out of this situation? <sighs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Baby, you can't just be on the desk. <laughs> you can be on my lap, but not just walk over my keyboard and stuff. Okay, how the fuck am I gonna do this? Oh my god, I might have to reload my save. Because that priest is horrible. I can't even move! Run, run, run! Oh my god, they just- I can't even get them on film! Oh, they killed me! They killed me! Yeah, I have to re reload my save. This is like an impossible combination. Oh my god, I can't even see them! Holy shit! I'm so unlucky. I can't believe how unlucky I am. <laughs> okay, I got her. Now we might be able to flee from the priest.
Let's see if we can. Nope. We're fucked. Whoa. Oh. Ooh, I got him. Eat shit, dude. Oh, that should have totally counted. Holy shit. I... I got that. This piece of shit, man. I fucking hate his guts. This is like the priest, or the monk, that you always run away from. For good reason. Oh. Look at what you made me do. You made me use a water. My precious water, okay? One more. No! Oh my god. Get away from me, stinky man. How does that not count? Oh. Thank God. Get fucked, dude. Never come back. Oh. No one likes you. That cost me so much film and health. Ugh. This chapter is always hard. No matter what difficulty you're on, this chapter sucks. <laughs> It's so hard. Can't believe I got stuck in with those two. Uh, let's see it. Malice, souls, and lost. 1,347 people. There we go. You want out, beep? Like, yeah, I want to leave this room, but you gotta come with me. <laughs> like, no, beep. Mom's working. He's been so extra meowy lately. I think, I think he's going through a phase now. I think walking him in the backyard has made him restless. Um, let me make a new separate save. I hadn't saved yet. Just in case things get too hard or I've completely run out of items, then I can reload my older one. Uh, but yeah, I, he's been extra meowy lately. Like. Can't see. It's so grainy. You know how cats get like extra meowy close to dinner time? That's a slow for you, sir. That flame is gonna hit me though. Fuck. Nice. Oh, I got him so quick. Awesome. Ah, much better. That went well. We could go to the back. Dead. 
<laughs> the best. <laughs> I believe now that the master's decision was a poor one. Kirie has realized that we hit the guest. Kirie is depressed and anxious. The day of the ritual is fast approaching. I hope and pray everything goes well. Ah, sorry, what I was saying. Um, well, okay, two things. First one is that you know how cats get like super meowy when it's close to dinner time? Fuck! Um, baby's been like that all day now. Hey, what? Oh, I backed into one. Man, Miku is not having a great time here. And I think walking BB in the backyard maybe has made him restless because now he's just meowing because he wants to be let out all the time. So I hope he settles into that a little bit more. I knew there was another one. I gotta go. See you guys later. Oh, I should upgrade my camera. The second thing was that, story-wise, so we see that Kirie, she's anxious, she liked a guest, they hid the guest. Um, and we know that the rope shrine maiden should have no attachments to this world, otherwise the ritual might fail. And it seems that she was... Oh yeah, I, I forgot I lost my stone mirror. Seems like she was not in the right headspace. Ooh, 90 film. Definitely good to come here. Eh. Just making sure there's nothing here. Oh, there it is. Kind of like dancing around the facts and trying to make sure that I'm telling you guys the right things. I think that's it. Without spoiling it, you know? Okay, let's upgrade the camera. 44 points! Nice. Okay. Awesome. Let's go. And we found 90 film. That's the strongest film in the game. So that's good. Gotta keep that for a special lady. <laughs> I think this is the only game... I think they changed it for the later Fatal Frame entries, but this is the only game where you can't hurt certain ghosts if the film quality is too low. Like, you need a high quality to even hurt them. Okay. They later changed 90 film to zero film. So that's the same the same type of film. But in future games it's called zero. Which makes sense because the game's called zero, so. Zero. Okay, that was grave number three. Did I get the diary at the Oh, I think I forgot the diary at the docks. I don't think I got it. Let me quickly see if I... Uh, actually, let's go by here first. And then we'll, I'll swing by the docks to make sure that we got it. Fight and then sing. Grave number four. Curie. Oh shit. Comes. Give my quiet. 
Oh, that's creepy. What is he doing? Give back my head. That's creepy, dude. Nice, we got him. That was the four priests. You must seal it again before it's too late. Hurry. Okay. The ritual failed. The mansion is filled with the malice, and that malice has made the master lose his sanity. How who would have thought this calamity would happen? It's all over now. There's no telling what will happen unless we find a way to close the gate before it opens completely. Anything here? No? Okay, let's save that and go back to the moon train now that we have the four icons. Yes, thank you. See, I told you, this chapter is very battle heavy. <laughs> There's so much fighting. This is where shit goes down and then the fourth chapter is not even that hard in comparison. <laughs> this is like the hardest part of the game. Thank god we got another stone mirror back, though. Don't want to die. Don't want to die. What's that game called again? Deadly Premonition. Never played the sequel. I heard it was awfully transphobic. So I just stayed away from it. I'm not in the mood for problematic games like that. But I don't know, honestly. Um... Number one. Eh. So the funny thing is, when you get them and you go through it clockwise, it's actually just one, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, nothing happens? Wait. Wait, is it different? It's that one. Wait, is it is it the other way around? Oh, it is! It's counterclockwise. Oh, weird. I misremembered. But yeah, it's so counterclockwise. It's one, two, three, four. So this is three. And then this is number two. My bad. There we go. Yes! Now, what is this? Take the picture. Oh, 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 blood. A red liquid appears out of the hole in the pedestal in front of the cabinet. Oh, 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 where does it go, huh? Let's follow the blood. Ooh, that makes me... I wonder if I should replay Outlast 2. It's probably not. I only played it the one time and I didn't really like it, but it feels like such a feels like it could be a fun game, but I remember being so lost. There it goes. Spots of something red, like blood, run along the wood hallway. Remember when we came here for the very first time? Oop. Those same blood spatters were on the ground already. Oh no 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 bye! Bye! I'm not staying here! Nope, nope, nope. Go away. Oh, here it is. The blood. Ah, shit. Oh god, I'm pretty close to dying. I didn't realize. Just leave, dude. Just leave. Leave me alone. Okay, there. He's gone. Is 
Should I go in here for items? Yeah. Shinto ritual fails calamity. 1,312. No. One, three, one, two. Oh. Let's hope the monk is in here though. you're looking at? Anything strike your fancy? <sighs> There's something there. I could see... Yeah, you can see the... Oh. Is it the monk? No, it's the other guy. It's pretty tough. There you go. Okay. Let's search for items and peace. We hear the lady again. <laughs> so creepy. I wonder if it's the eye crying. Nice. Okay, good. Well, I got some. I got two healing items out of it, so that's good, and two spirit um, orbs. Okay, now let's leave. Time for the big man. <laughs> How many pictures do I have? Thirty-six, twenty-nine, twelve. Bring out the big guns. That's a lot of blood! There's a big pool of blood in the middle of the room. Here he comes. Oh god, that wasn't even the start of his health bar. Okay, there it is. That's the start. Ooh, I got you! Ooh, that must have hurt! Oh god, shouldn't have done that. Yes! Oh my god, yes! Eat shit, dude. Scary man. He's actually holding a head in his other hand. You can't really see it, but... <sighs> Something on the ground where the ghost stood. The seal! Yes! Okay, um, gotta switch back. I wonder how many points I have. Maybe I can upgrade. The family master. Okay, do we have any items? Nope. Anything here? 
Yep. Nice. I always welcome more film. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. Nothing. Yes. Ooh, two items. Look at that. <gasps> yes, yes. Oh, and it opens. Nice. Nothing there. Okay, so we have the seal now. How? What's the quickest way to get there? I think we just have to go back. I did forget. We followed the master's order and hid the guest. I told Kirie our guest had gone home. We will have to carry the body far, far away so that Kirie never finds out. Carry the body. So it's not just hiding someone away, it's killing someone and carrying the body out of here. Felt sorry for the poor man, but what else could I do? We priests must protect the rope shrine maiden at all costs. <sighs> Good that I went back for it, because otherwise we would have missed that snippet of information. So we don't know much, but we know that Kirie was with some man and they were worried that she would get attached to him so they killed him and um, killed him and hit the body so that she wouldn't find out and then we're just like oh yeah he just went home no big deal I wonder if there's a hole in the ceiling then, if the moonlight has to come in through the well. Oh yeah! Down here. I never noticed. I never really paid attention to that detail. So cool. This also gives me such Fatal Frame 4 vibes, because they also have a moon well. was an earlier rope shrine maiden. This is where they kept the first one. Okay. Yes. Any items? No? Anything I can get? Anything at all? Nope. Female mummy enshrined in the hollowed rock. The holy mirror is on a stone in front of the mummy. There's a recess in the stone. Something was removed. Almost all of the pieces. Yes! There she is! It's not just mirrors, any reflective surface, including water. She can travel through. Go, go, go! Run, Miku! Ooh. You gotta go faster! Coming for you. <laughs> so close. That girl again. There it is. She said it. She said, Stop me. So it is, Kitty. 
So we have two KDAs right now. We have a girl KDA that's helping us, and we have fucking evil ass KDA that's like, I'll make you feel my pain. So, it is the final night, but I haven't even recorded an hour yet. Should we finish the game? Should we go for it? Last chapter? Two for the price of one? Hey, Kitty. Who are you? Play me a song. A regular koto. There's nothing special about it. Am I supposed to play something? So what are you gonna play? Oh, it's right here. Picked up the koto shit music. It's an old song, but I think I can play it. So cool! That's the song that the dude was playing when we uh, we walked across. We saw his silhouette play this song when we were on the other side. How do I get it? Okay. Nice. We're above the rooms. Oh! She can see through the floor. Sorry, I clicked it away too quickly, but... So cool! That <laughs> still kind of got me! <laughs> One of my favorite ghosts. It's just a head! Ooh. Oh, we got her. It's literally a flying head. So creepy. That's it. Now yeah, she's a flame now. <laughs> Gone forever. Oh. Wait, what film am I on? Oh, 14, perfect. Where is it coming from? I don't see blue either. Nice. Oh, there it is. Nice. Long haired woman. Oops. No! What a waste. That makes me so sad immediately. Ugh. She didn't want to be the rope shrine maiden. Oh, did you see that little camera twist? That was nice. Okay, where are the items? One dead ahead. Let's see where we are? We're above the witch roll chamber with all the big buddha statues so cool
the truth binder. I wonder what his part is in this. The ghost list might tell us. This is a stone mirror, I think. Yep. I remember. I love how it's like the game is so creative with like reusing rooms but in from a new perspective. Literally being held tied up in a room. What's this? Painting with frightful colors. Could it mean something? Looks like flames. Holy mirror! Fourth piece. And a hairpin. Beautiful golden hairpin. Maybe it was Kyrie's, that woman in the prison. The best cutscene. That's Kyrie. And that man looks an awful lot like Mafuyu. No! Young love. So sad. So pretty, but so sad. Kitty and Mafuyu? No, it's not him. Maybe it's the man she loved when she was alive. Oh, there's more. Old diary written in charcoal ink. Kirie's diary. While I was looking out the window today, I saw somebody walking in the garden. He didn't notice me. He was just walking around leisurely, gazing at the trees and the hills. I saw him again today, walking in the garden. He saw me once, too, and waved at me. I don't know why, but my face got hot and I ducked out of sight. When I told the chief priest about it, he was terribly surprised. He told me I wasn't to look out the window again for a while. No. So this window, actually... Is really cool. This window connects. We've actually seen it. Um, you know that backyard area with the bamboo and the well? Uh, and the safe point? If there was one time, the first time we got there, we heard, help me! And then we looked up and there was like a little window. That was Kirie asking for help. Same window. Today is the day I get to walk outside. I was walking in the mansion's atrium when he suddenly appeared from out of the guest room. The first time I talked to an outsider since I came here. It was so much fun. He came to see me. He let me out of the room and we went outside. He taught me the names of all of the flowers. Everything about this is so new to me. My face got hot again today, but I didn't want to hide this time. Oh, it's so innocent. <laughs> He came to see me again today. The chief priest said we mustn't go out into the garden, so we just stayed in the room and talked. He told me so many interesting things about the outside world. I feel so happy when I'm with him. So very, very happy. I walked in the garden with him today. How beautiful the cherry blossoms are. He taught me so much since we've met. I never I even feel lonely anymore. Poor Kitty. Eh? The strangling ritual will be held soon. The master and the priests are performing their ablutions. Oh, isn't that the word we learned in Resident Evil 8? The, the, the bath in the castle? Wasn't that ablution as well? And it looks like the whole family is gathered here at the mansion for the ritual. This mansion is usually so lonely, but for today anyway, it's bustling with life. 
One of the priests was staring at me today. He looked so sad. I'm the rope shrine maiden. I have a very important obligation to fulfill. But how can I perform my duty as the shrine maiden now, feeling the way I do? Now that I've found out the true joy of living. And now that I've gone and gotten that poor man involved. She doesn't want to be the shrine maiden anymore. She fell in love. Oh, there she is again. It's so cool how she comes out of mirrors. Time to run! Time to run! Time to run! She's coming. Ooh, better hurry. I'll go downstairs. Legs, don't fail me now. Take a right. Ooh, we did it. We're good. Okay, we have a hairpin. So, now we kind of know more about Kitty, eh? We know that... Um, we know that she grew up being super isolated because she was supposed to be the rope shrine maiden and the priests are saying that she shouldn't have any attachment to this world otherwise the ritual would fail um and then she went and fell in love with a visitor so the priests kind of like panicked because she's not supposed to have any feelings for anyone or anything um so in a panic reaction, they killed the man that looks like Mafuyu and disposed of him. But it was already too late because she was already... She was already like, it's not worth... I want to live this life. I don't want to die. Pedestal. Yes. There's a place in front of the mummy for inserting something. Use the hairpin. Ah. There we go. Must be such a heavy door. And here... This is the other side. This is where we saw Mafuyu. We were on the other side of this rubble here. Nice. I think it's time to swap out the film again. We do have 25k as well. Nice. Fully upgraded camera. Awesome. Okay. Did I save? I did, right? I hope I did. Run. Nice. Got him. There's a little bit about Mikoto and stuff that hasn't been explained yet. I think, but... I'll finish the game first and then I'll... I might have missed some stuff. Nice! 170 damage.
Finally a flame. Get fucked. I knew it. <laughs> Man at bottom. This next room is gonna be spicy. Dear Miku, I know it's weird, but I see you sometimes here in the mansion. I run after you, but I always end up losing sight of you. There must be some kind of warp in time here now. We'll probably never be able to find each other. Were you worried about me? Is that why you came? I hope you get this note. I need, to, I need you to help me. The force behind the curse of Himuro Mansion is a woman named Kirie. She was sacrificed in a ritual, and her sad spirit was exposed to the malice that spilled out of hell when the calamity happened. Now she's a miserable creature that taints everything she comes into contact with. Apparently I, rem I remind her of the man she was in love with. I somehow just knew that when she touched me. I plan on going to see her now. If I don't, this mansion will keep right on claiming victims. Kirie laments her ill-fated life, but at the same time, she also regrets not having been able to fulfill her duty as the Shrine Maiden. I saw the image of Kirie as a child. She was looking for somebody to help her, to help her other torch itself. Kirie is like a person divided in two. Miku, I want you to help Kirie if you can. You have to seal off the Hellgate with the Holy Mary. So there you have it. So Kirie was sacrificed for the the ritual, but because part of her wanted to um, be with a man that she loved, or at least like she said, I just want to see him one last time. Which is so fucking sad. <laughs> it's so sad. She didn't even... She already resigned, like... She was like, I, I'm i okay if I die. I just want to see him one last time and then I'm good. That's all she wanted. She didn't even... She wasn't even like, I don't want to die at all. Or, like... She was ready for her duty. She understood that that was her duty. I should actually pause the game. Otherwise I'm going to get attacked. Um, but... Because she met this wonderful man that they killed and got rid of. Um, they obviously couldn't arrange for her to meet him one last time and they went ahead, forced her into the ritual. The stuff went bad, stuff went south and then, but Kirie's soul was so conflicted, part of her got tainted by the Hellgate, the malice that spilled out of the Hellgate um, when, the, when the ritual went wrong. And that was her evil part that we see with all the monsters behind her. And then her good part that was salvageable basically split off into her child self and is looking, is roaming around the mansion looking for people that can help fix everything that went wrong. So the part of her that wants to do good and wants to do her duty is trying to find people to help. And that's what we've been seeing. Well, we've been seeing both, but. Those are the four priests we fought. Stop! Uh, no! Ugh. She was literally torn into how many pieces? Six? Yeah. No. No. So that's the ritual so they get killed oh they get killed because they're basically pulled to shreds and then the rope that was used to kill them becomes sacred and that is the rope that they then use for the doors Fuck. Ah! 
I'm so sorry. I know you don't really want to fight, but I gotta... Oh, there she comes. I think... I seem to remember she's like one of the older Rope Shrine maidens. She's a little bit more intact. Is there any items here? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Six vengeance. I wonder if those are like past victims, past sacrifices. See the, the blood as well going like in a drain to the outside. So gross, man. Those poor women. comes. I'm so sorry. Can't have you hurt me. Daughter. Ooh, that little angle back there. You think there's an item there? Probably not. Would have seen it sparkle. Nice. One for you. I've been thinking about the camera mom left us. I know it was mom's and she left it to us when she died. But it used to belong to Grandma Mikoto! That's it. That's the piece of information I was waiting for. I was so like... I don't think I can tell people because I don't think we've had it yet in the game and I was so worried I was spoiling it. There we go. So they say it was the only thing grandma brought with her when she was adopted by the Hinazaki family. So we have Yae and Munakata, their child Mikoto. They used to live at the mansion, this mansion. They used to live here, everything. So Mikoto when playing with the camera one day, she went playing with the hide and seek with the other kids. And then the kids went, got snatched away, but Mikoto somehow survived and she had the camera in her possession still. Maybe she survived because of the camera, actually. I don't know. Um, then, of course, Yae couldn't deal with it. She committed suicide. And then Munakata, uh, we know he, he kind of went berserk and opened the hell gate and then was killed by Kirie instantly. Um, but then Mikoto gets found, gets adopted by the Hinasaki family, and then uh, Mafuyu and Miku are Mikoto's grandchildren. That's fucking awesome. So uh, Miku and Mafuyu actually have a connection to this mansion, which is really cool. In some documents I found here in the mansion, there were notes about a little girl named Mikoto, the same name as our grandmother, finding a camera with an uncanny power. And then I found out that Mikoto's mother, the folklorist's wife, died the very same way mom did. And that is why Miku said mom when she saw, when she saw the visions of Yai. Uh, the similarity between, so Yai and her grandchild, which is Miku's mother, they, because they're directly related, they probably really look a lot like each other. Um, which is why Miku mis mistook Yai for her mom. Ah, oh, it's all coming together now. I can finally tell you guys. <laughs> mom was no match for the go ghostly power of that camera. It drove her mad and she had to leave this world. Now if that camera is the same one Mikoto's mother had, Anyway, I don't know all the specifics, but I'm pretty sure that camera is strongly connected to the curse of this mansion. Mm. Oh god, is it time already? Oh shit! Twenty-four. We're good. Do I want anything? I, d I got zero special functions. Um, 
maybe pressure, but it should be fine, honestly. I don't think I need anything. Okay. We made it to the very edge. The very door to hell. The rope that they used to kill Kirie. So they tie it in front of the door. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't good. So the, the gate breaks open, Calamity seeps through the gates, kills everyone in the mansion, and destroys the place, or damages it. 1347 people died that moment. Except for those more strong-willed, but we know now that because... So the four rope priests and the head of the family, the head priest, um, they survived the calamity because they're much more strong-willed probably. Uh, but because the head priest was touched by the calamity, the stuff that seeped out, he went insane. He decapitated all of his priests and then... Did he kill himself? I think so. I think that's what he did. He killed himself in that big room with the, all the sliding doors where we fought him the last time. I think he went there and killed himself. We're getting all the answers now. Should we check the door? It's the malice. I can't go any further. There he is! Bro! Mafuyu! <laughs> Kiria, you need to go to Horny Jail. Bonk. She had him the whole time. Well, not the whole time, but he's hers now. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. did a lot of damage. That fucking nice, powerful film. Um, she might seem a little bit easy, but it's because if she touches you, I'm dead. Like, there's no healing from her touch. So that's why they came there. Make sure she doesn't move around too much. They don't- I think they didn't want to make the fight too hard. The camera, no! <gasps> camera literally exploded. <laughs> it's broken.
The good part of Kiri. <gasps> it's the last piece of the mirror. Yes. The last piece of the mirror was I don't know where it is. There it is. Was in the camera. Feel strong spiritual power coming from the mirror. I need to use it to seal the gate. The rock has a recess in the center. It's about the size of the holy mirror. <gasps> there we go. So the, the holy mirror cleanses Kirie oh. and Luffy. It cleanses the Lovely. calamity off of Kirie. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Hello, me. Kitty, I feel so sad for her always. But she did it. She's strong. My duty is to keep this gate closed. I'm so sorry that that's your duty. It sucks. for you. Miku. The whole time Kirei was guiding me, I could hear her screaming. Screaming for help. As the rope shrine maiden, she was destined to seal the gate. Yet she also wanted to be with the one she loved. But she couldn't have both, and was being torn apart by those two feelings which resulted in the calamity. Her spirit was touched by the malice, and she became a creature that wanted to make others suffer as she had. Now free of the malice, she is about to fulfill her duty as the Rope Shrine Maiden. Her soul must remain here, keeping this gate sealed off for all eternity. All alone. Endless pain. As long as she is free of pain. As long as she is not left hopeless. I wish to be by her side. No. Miku.
All the souls are free. Look, their souls are all going back to where they belong. We did it. Miku. I now realize why I was brought here. And I will accept this destiny of mine. Miku. Thank you for everything. Ever since that day, I stopped seeing things that other people don't see. That's a lie. She's in Fatal Frame 3. And 5. <laughs> Keisuke Kikuchi, Makoto Shibata, you guys are amazing. Yes. Okay, so I do have to say that I like the Japanese ending a lot more. So, the English is great, like, obviously, this is how I played it the first time when I was 14. And it's a beautiful story, I fucking love... I, what really blew me away when I was 14 was that I went in thinking it was just gonna be, like, scary horror and it was fucking scary. But the fact that they twist it towards the end and add that element of love into the story is just so good. You, you feel so bad for her, because it's just like... Basically, she just wanted to live. She fell in love, and... She doesn't know that they killed her lover. Um, and then she gets forced to go through the ritual anyway, and then... Well, I mean... Mafuyu explained it all just now. But it's just... Oh, it's so good. It's such a good story. And then the fact that... Um, the fact that Miku and Mafuyu are like descendants of Mikoto, who used to be in that house too. That's crazy. So interesting. Really good. It's such a good story, isn't it? It's just a really great story. <laughs> I love it. I love it a lot. I'll see if I can find the Japanese B rank. 4 hour 40, it's not too bad. Yeah, my, my best time is like 2 hour 40 or something, I think. I did that once. Um, nice. Battle mode, sound test? Sound test? Well. That one was 4 hours, so we're actually not that far off. Yeah, 40 minutes. <laughs> not too bad. Awesome. Well, I think we're back in the main menu. Yeah. Okay, give me a give me a sec. Let me see if I can find um, the Japanese cutscene. Sorry the quality is kind of shit, but it's an eight-year-old YouTube video. <laughs> So, oh, wait here. So she's literally like, it's my duty, like the English version. But the thing that I like is what she says afterwards. So she says, uh, I'll see, let the, I'll keep this gate closed. You guys should run. <laughs> but you, but if we don't do it, then the calamity will happen again. So that's the thing that gets me. What she says in Japanese. So I forgot what she said in English, but in Japanese here, she goes, Thank you. Just that sentiment is enough for me. Basically, the fact that he's like, are you going to be okay? Is 
just that little bit of like concern for her. She's like, that's already so much love that she's never had that that's going to be enough for her to last eternity in pain. Isn't that... That's just so much better than the English version. And that's a little bit colder, so it's like, you should go home. Miku. Period. Kiriyeni it's all the same as the English. That's all the same. The English is spot on. That's all the same. たった一人で。青の道切れることのない苦しみ。その苦しみが少しでも軽くなるのなら、彼女の望みが少しでも叶えられれば、僕は彼女のそばで少しでも力になりたいんだ。No. So he's saying, I don't know how different it is from the English version that we just heard, but it just sounds so much nicer. In the Japanese version, he's saying like, if if me being there, if if my presence is enough to help her, even the tiniest bit, ease her suffering, just the tiniest bit, I feel like I can be helpful and I want to be there for her. Miku. Nisa. Sorry, the quality is so low. <laughs> I just wanted to hear it more than see it. They're all going home. That's what she says in Japanese. Miku. That's the same as the English. I know why I came here. Huh? No, that just sounds so much better. The way he says, like, Imamade, Arigato. Imamade, Arigato. Oh, it's so much better. There's so much more, like, emotion in it. It's much more like, thank you for everything for our lives together. Yeah, I like the Japanese so much more. That's it. Ah, uh, we did it. Fatal Frame 1. Very short game compared to the other Fatal Frame games. The other Fatal Frame games are going to be much more lengthy in playthrough, especially the 2 remake. They add a lot of um, length to it as well. Three is quite lengthy. Four is quite lengthy. Um, all in in good in a good way. They're all much longer than the first game. First game is very short. I think when you play it the very first time though, and you don't really know where to go and what to do, and you want to explore everything, you can definitely. It's more like ten hours. That at least for me it was um, around ten hours. But once you kind of like, I mean, oh bye peep. You guys know that I've played it so many times. So I I just know. For most of it, because I kind of got lost in chapter two, but for most of it, I kind of just know like, okay, this is this part, here we go, do this, and then... So, um, 
four hours is like a good nice nice chill time for me <laughs> that's good um i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys can see why i like this game so much and how much of an impact it had on me when i was just 14 years old playing this and seeing it through to the end ah oh, so good I can't wait to move on to all the other ones. So we're gonna play through two, three, and four as well before five comes out. We don't have really an exact date for five yet, except that it's somewhere this year. So I'm guessing still it's gonna be December, so I still have some time. Um, I don't know if I'll move on to Fatal Frame 2 right away, but I'll definitely, in the next couple months, we'll see Fatal Frame 2, 3, and 4 come by. I'll definitely play through it this year, all of them. Um, I just don't know, there might be a little gap of like a couple weeks, maybe a month between some of the games. We'll see. I hope we get a date soon for Five. But that was Fatal Frame 1. I hope you guys liked it. I hope I hope you guys are impressed with how the story sticks together. And um, I can't wait to show you guys the next entry. Fatal Frame 2, I think, is the one where people, most people are like, that's my favorite one. Um, they're all good, so. But one is just, you know, first one I played, I, I, I was at an impressionable age. It was just very, very good. And I still love it so much. And KDA is just awesome. So this is where I'm going to leave Fatal Frame 1. I will pick up Fatal Frame 2 for the Wii soon. I'm going to try and get the Japanese voices. I'm going to try and get a patch going for Japanese voices, English text. So hopefully that will work out. I'm going to try and get that to work. Worst case, I'm going to just do English. Um, and I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon with something else.